Tonight, investigators are trying to determine what started a fire that killed a man inside a northeast side home. CBS 4's Max Lewis shares what neighbors witnessed as that home went up in flames. Tonight, restoration crews were boarding up this home where a 67 year old man died in a fire Monday night. Neighbors say the home caught fire just after 9 o'clock in the back corner of the house. A neighbor who didn't want to be identified first smelled the smoke and then heard a woman's screams. I really couldn't make out exactly what she was saying, but it sounded like she was screaming, Jesus. My, and she said something like, my uncle's in there. Today, the coroner's office identified that woman's uncle as Arthur Corbett. Neighbors tell us he was partially paralyzed and used a wheelchair. His niece wasn't able to get him out, and by the time neighbors got there, it was too late. The house was fully engulfed on, well, on the west side of the house. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't. I wasn't going to go in there. It wasn't safe. The Indianapolis Fire Department said Corbett was pronounced dead shortly after he was found. Neighbors say his niece was beyond devastated. I really was just trying to calm her down. And uh, I know her parents stay in uh, Ohio. Mm -hmm. So I was just trying to help her. She didn't have her phones and I gave her my phone to let her call. Corbett is at least the ninth death. The coroner ruled a fire fatality so far this year in Indianapolis. That is up from six people who were killed in fires last year. Fire officials say the Devon Drive home did have working smoke alarms. It's really a tragedy when something happens close to your house. He was a young man, uh, relative to me, but uh, you know it could have happened to me. On the northeast side, Max Lewis, CBS 4 News. And the cause of that fire is still under investigation. IMPD homicide detectives were on the scene, which the department says is standard protocol. CBS 